All right, good evening uh, from Jay Freem Gardening here. I wanted to show you a little uh, kind of an idea that we were doing for our winter sowing and what we did with our milk jugs is part of storage. Um, we kind of hung them up on a rope and basically let them hang up and dry. Definitely don't want to have the, the caps on because if you get the caps on, yeah, you're going to get some smell. If it's water, it should be okay, but this is definitely a way to keep them off, let them dry out. Um, good perfect way to store them as well um, so I will definitely show you uh, a little bit more we're going to get into it I just want to kind of show you this idea so uh, I'm going to show you some of the winter sowing that we were going to be doing uh, for this year's garden in 2021 uh, I'll show you the process for cutting open the uh, milk jugs uh, what we've done is we pre-labeled the milk jugs kind of where the seeds are going to go uh, make it a little easier you can definitely do it on the fly if you want uh, but we just made it figure it'd be easier just kind of start labeling them uh, so we kind of know where everything's going uh, make the process a little, a little faster so I have a drill uh, here to do the punching of the holes if you don't have a drill at home you can use scissors you can punch the holes in here as well for the scissors. Obviously it's a little tougher to do them. Uh, you can do it that way, but the drill's gonna make it a little quicker and we have a whole bunch of jugs to go through. So it'll just be a lot faster in the process. <laughs> four down the middle and one on each side uh, to make sure there's enough drainage for the water to come out for the plant. And I'm just put your hole so that way it'll be a little easier for cutting with the scissors around the edge. Go about there and stop. Flip it around. it and then you got the hole on the bottom for the drainage and then open and close for that. Let's go ahead and we'll start getting this one full of dirt. Uh, uh, I got doing a cup full of dirt, put it in there now and then a bit more dirt. So the seeds or the dirt that we got is from Menards, we crafted um, it's uh, Master Gardening Potting Mix, Aqua Mix. It's got feeding up to nine months for food for the plants. Uh, the last one underneath it was about three months. So we figured we'll go with nine months. That way, at least it's a little longer. Obviously, three months here. It's February, so three months may be kind of cutting it short for the plant food. Depending how the weather is going to be. Yes. So we definitely have nine. We're not going to keep these in here for nine months in hopes of that. Um, and we have a good spring turnout. Also being in 5B zoning, we could have a warm spring or we could have a really cold spring. It all depends. Yeah, so this is definitely a new feat for us. Usually we go direct into the ground uh, when we're planting our garden, uh, probably later April when we do it. And so we want to try this out, see if we can get it started a little earlier. Definitely also to show what it turns out to be in Illinois in the, one of the Midwest states, uh, kind of see how these actually do. For people who are around this area who want to try this, see if it'll work for them. Growing at home, obviously, if you don't have a big place, you can use these for growing and then transplant them into buckets. Uh, we did have a bucket garden. I, I know I uh, stated it in one of the other videos. That was our first year, and it actually did pretty good. Well, our other house, when we lived in the smaller house, we had a huge, not huge garden, but we had kind of a bigger garden. Okay, so these are about a quarter inch deep. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and just poke a couple holes in here. And separate them out. We'll get some seeds. Seeds, I'll put them in the holes. He's got definitely a lot underneath so they can grow. They got a pretty big amount of milk jugs for the roots to grow down into the soil. And uh, I know there's probably been other videos uh, stated, but it's also nice because then they can kind of weather to what's outside. That way um, the seeds kind of go through this process with it and they're kind of stable more outdoors you plant them indoors and that's one of the other reasons you plant them indoors you have they aren't really prone to the outside and now they might have some issues when they get out to the ground it also saves space in your home too because you think yep. in yeah that is true our well, old house didn't have a basement so all of our starters were upstairs in our dining room taking up how much space with the small correct. greenhouse we had yeah so that was definitely something that this is a space saver you can stick them outdoors and you don't have to worry about so much space and light definitely you don't have to worry about the electricity from all the yeah, lighting that goes on what do you talk about with all my succulents ah. and stuff anyways upstairs it's too funny all right so that's that process um i got some seeds planted got some broccoli planted we're going to go ahead and we're going to soak the soak it pretty good uh, we're using just a milk jug so the way it's a little easier with the soaking instead of a uh, watering can uh, milk jug obviously is a little bit more for water since we are down in the basin we don't have the hose accessible because uh, it's actually like two degrees outside right now so that's why we are down here instead a little bit warmer so we're going to soak it a little bit more I'm going to get inside for the seeds Okay, I just punched some holes inside it, the milk jug. I uh, just put a bunch of holes in there, filled it up. Good to go. I'm going to go ahead and tape it up, uh, pull the tape off, do a couple of strips to kind of line it up. You definitely want to get some tape on here because you'll hold it by the handle. You don't want to lose all your dirt out when you're transporting these. He's going all the way around. What I found I like doing, it gives me better control. Is I tape up once, hold it there, so then it doesn't move when I'm taping it. You stole my tape. Oh. Probably should have brought two wolves down. Yeah. Or my finger on there kind now of. Now too, when we thing. um we go to open these to plant, we are planning on saving these till next year, you think, right? And trying to reuse it to cut down on the plastic use. Yeah, we could do that and see how they go if they're not too yeah. too moisture, but they might get a lot of moisture on the top. That's so we may just have to get new that's okay. I mean, we're actually at least using the plastic, even yeah. though it's not going in, you know, or saving sure. the plastic from, you know, you drink it anyways, you get the water, you can just, you know, get sure. it up there. It's a little easier. Ask family, friends, sure. others that have the jugs. Uh, so that's pretty much the process here to do the winter sewing piece. Uh, the trays are pretty good, so that way they can hold the water, uh, so that way you're not making mess all over the place. Um, something you can do. Uh, that's pretty much it so far. We'll go through the rest of these. That's one of the processes uh, for this piece. And I am also writing on the tape what it is in case the weather like takes the stuff off the plastic. Um, I'm hoping that the stuff on the tape will keep longer.
get something to make it go. some cilantro. Do you have the cilantro? Yep. See it's right here. Thank goodness for my workspace. Because guess where I found? Another marker. Um, it's definitely good. We, I think kind of pre-labeling these helps at least. It saves you a little bit of time having to figure out which ones you want to use. both houses we bought we move in and they have no flowers they uprooted like all their flowers and landscaping pretty much got to put it in ourselves which we got the flowers going um i had mentioned we had put in a new uh rim up front we actually did that last year uh, we, we really didn't have a whole lot when we first moved in so we uh, have a whole front um flower garden too in front of the house that's completely empty we did one side. We have a rose bush and some flowers from your mom's house yeah, and some flowers rest. from my mom's house. Yep. Definitely donations of flowers. It's always special to have somebody have like have your mom's flowers or my mom's flowers outside and it's a little bit of home at yes. your home. 100%. Well, we'll see. Hopefully the flowers go good. Yeah. Because we usually go every single year. I usually do annuals and I have um, pots out front usually. So we want more perennials so they come back every single year. So I am going to have a few annuals. We're thinking about getting some um, vases for out front. Big um, urn vases to put some flowers in for just show. But then we're going to stick with perennials in the beds. So then I don't have to plant them every single year. Well, it's a little easier yeah. to worry about. Definitely gonna, if this method works out, we will be growing different ones yeah. for sure. Maybe I can talk you into getting flower gardens in the back like in those houses. It's a possibility. As we go from there, but you know, expanding the garden. Then we might work in the possibility we might get in a fruit tree. Might go down that line. We did have grew a peach tree in the old house and it actually grew pretty good size. It was supposed to be dwarf, but it's pretty good size. Um, luckily the person we bought it from was pretty nice. Uh, they allowed us to come back and take some and we actually did some canning uh, peaches, which is awesome. They yep. were definitely good. We had some peach jam which was amazing. And that's all she wanted was in exchange, a few cans of peach jam. And I said, for giving us almost, we probably had three different five gallons full of peaches. So we had plenty left to spare. Oh yeah, there was there was so many on that so tree. It was, it was just ridiculous. And that was only three years, having the tree yeah. for three years. We yeah. bought it the year before we sold our house. Yep. And planted it. try all these hot peppers. How many do we get? Yeah. Five? Like five sets, five? Of hot, yeah, five sets of hot peppers. That's insane. Well, so, I want to try a few buckets, few grounds, see which way the peppers like to grow better. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to do a uh, couple of buckets. We had some success with them. We're going to do a little bit of them on the outskirts. Um, we did do sprinkler. We may try to upgrade and go to either a drip irrigation instead of doing sprinklers that way we kind of 
get it a little bit better, save on the water. We're talking about doing that with our flower beds too, yeah. so I'm not out there watering yeah, every single day. Yeah, a little easier for yeah. everything in general. Yeah, definitely uh, the two-year-old keeps us busy. So. But he likes watering too. He likes getting out there and... Yeah, that's another reason we push for this is that for, um, for sure for him, Less playing dirt and sand yep. and everything else, so this is another fun. Another plus for him. Flowers, flowers, mini peppers. Let's go with the mini chocolate bell peppers. Chocolate. Do you want to give me the peppermint zinnia so I'll be really fast? Okay. Did we do already? We have two? Uh, I think we got two, three. We got beefsteak, hillbilly. We got three different types of tomatoes. We're gonna try. And white, okay. We, in the past, we uh, we did do some canning. Uh, we did a lot of uh, more towards the pepper side. Uh, we did do a couple, of, we did some canning of the tomatoes, but definitely this year with the bigger garden, we kind of want to make it a little bit easier make it uh, more nutritious to go on the garden side. So. And we already have our garlic down. I planted the garlic, what, in the fall, right? In the fall of last I year. So I'll definitely take you once the, I'll show you a little bit, hopefully, once we get rid of some of the snow that's been out there and it just keeps piling up. Uh, hopefully we can get through some of that too. And this is the first year. We've always grown tomatoes for like almost, when did we buy our old house? 2013? Yep. We've had a garden 2013 with, we usually only grow tomatoes, jalapenos, cucumbers. is usually cucumbers are usually, because that's mainly what we eat. Yeah, we don't but, really grow a whole lot. Yeah, but this year we decided, hey, since you're finding new vegetables so you like. Hey, let's try yeah, we're green beans. Wine. Plus, little guy's trying more stuff, so we figured we'd try a little bit more as well for him. We got a dehydrator, so we can go ahead and I'm going to try dehydrating peppers, tomatoes. What else do we plan on dehydrating? Fruit. Yep, fruit. It's another new one this year for us, too, as well. Is growing some of the fruit. He loves his fruit. Definitely over for sure than chocolates or sweets. So yep, he chooses fruit over. Figured we'd go down that, get some fruit, some of the watermelon, some of the uh, cantaloupe. say probably two to three seeds for a little hole. See how many we get. We can definitely space them out. If we have extras, we could also ask the you know the parents if they want any or um, maybe go to the local garden stand we usually have throughout this you know closer to that planting time in May they have a little stand. Maybe farmers market, we have a small market. farmers market, yeah. yeah. If they grow all pretty good, we'll see, but at least there's extra in here. So if we do have you know, ones that fail, we'll be okay. If you do any flowers, let me know because you're around once some starts with the flowers. Does it smell okay? Does it smell like a little zoo oriented? It's a little flimsy. Yeah. That's definitely the milk of the water. surprised that this uh, milk jug has, uh, has made it up. It's 
far as surprisingly, it actually has lasted. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was actually going to I'll have to fill it up eventually here, but it's nice a pretty good amount for sure. I like to see it maybe in the future too getting um, water down here. Well, hopefully if we if this works out and it's success, definitely we'll be doing a little earlier when it's a little warmer. And a lot outside. bigger, yeah. And a lot bigger. Yeah. yeah, definitely when it's a lot warmer. Try to grow this pack a little bit later on. And it definitely got colder. Yeah. Because usually you want to aim for middle of January, end of January to get these started planted, but we've just had a horrible last few weeks with weather. But we're like, get it done, we're going to get it out there or else we're not going to have any. Yeah. Have sure. a late garden. We had a late garden. We did pretty good. We went all the way into the middle of October just still getting, still getting tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah. So, hopefully have... A massive cherry tomato plant that was excellent at producer. We learned that we tried corn last year and it didn't go over too well because the um the darn squirrels. We have a squirrel problem. They're cute little guys, but they love love. They don't even like garlic and when I planted my garlic I'd have to go there out there every single day because hey they just uproot. The garlic. Yeah. Just for fun. I think just. No, we're almost there. Getting there. We got what? So three, many. Two more? Yeah. We're getting close. Did I have you, Johnny Jacobs? You need to do right here. Okay. <laughs> gotta make sure, gotta make sure those Johnny John books are in there. Yeah, say that that. <laughs> It's like the smallest flower is one of my favorite flowers. Don't get yep. me wrong, I love the roses and... 100%. Yeah. Let's see. You're not too big in the flowers though, like I am. You have to be, come on. <laughs> Who doesn't love some pretty flowers? It definitely makes the, the yard perk itself up, makes it look nice. And that's why I wanted to conquer the brim, get that done. It just made it so much nicer, which I can show in some of the other videos while we're kind of waiting for these to grow and, you know, we'll kind of do a little bit step by with these and I'll show you some of the other stuff kind of going on that we have, what we're going to add to and some years past. Well, we didn't get the garden in front front because remember we had that thorn problem, that horrible thorn problem. Yeah. It took me almost um, two years to get rid of all the thorns in the front bed. Yeah, thorn weeds. Yeah. They're pretty vicious around here. Yeah. English daisies. These are, oh, I have to mark here. I want some of these starts too. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Prairies. Best dwarf. Oh, yeah. And we will be doing an unboxing because we did order from what? Michigan Bulb some. Um, we did get some bulbs. Yep, from Michigan Bulb. Yeah, we did order a little bit after. We got some of them as well coming in. Because honestly, I don't know how many perennials are going to come out front because remember they a lot of them got uprooted. Yeah. Out front into the brim. Not our fault, but they got uprooted. There are a lot of vicious animals around here. <laughs> There's just squirrels. Squirrel attack. Oh, I did it. Yeah, these small ones, I'm showing you those all of them. I can just go back. It's okay. All what right, happened? Table. What'd you spill? Well, I dumped a little bit. That's wait, okay. Wait, wait. Did I already plant those? No. Okay. That's why we got, uh, it's on the table. Here. And I have a few Scooping. more still to do, right? Did you already use the mini peppers? Um, yeah, you just didn't. No, I don't know. And what we're going to do, um, we're marking the seeds because you can continue to use the seeds throughout the years. Definitely 100%. So we're going to try to see how well they do next year. Because usually we just buy seeds every single year, you'd say, right? Yeah. Especially like the cucumbers and everything else. But we do have different kinds of cucumbers. We're doing, I'm excited for the white cucumber. 
honestly. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got some other things in store. We have some ideas with the new garden as well. We kind of planned out. You're using all the water. No, it's still in there. Oh. It's just oh, we got one more. Got one left. One left. Can yeah, I, it, I can't believe this water jug actually made it through. And you want to make sure your water is very, very penetrated too, because um, hopefully we won't have to water these until we open them up. Yeah. They almost get planted. But you do want it when it starts getting warm and everything out. You do want to check them for dryness. And if they are getting a little dry, you can go ahead and water them. But usually with our weather, we do get a lot of yeah. rain in the spring. So we should be good. But I'm not crossing my fingers because once again. Midwest for you. It changes you. so much here with weather. Yeah. It could be raining one day to the next. It could be snowing. So, or it could be 80 degrees and 30 degrees the next day. Yeah. I don't know. Are you marking your tubs too? Hmm? Are you marking your tubs? The tub? Oh, for when they were planted? Where'd you put them? No, I haven't marked them. Honestly, I don't think I have. I'll have to go back to them. That's fine. I can mark them before they go outside because you'll put them outside yet tomorrow, right? Yeah, we'll definitely uh, because you're get you these guys out. Are you using so. the old table? Um, I think you should probably put them on the old table. The old table, or actually, I may just set them along underneath along the edge. But you um, we'll see. yeah, I might probably the do the table so. Yeah, so we'll probably yeah we'll probably leave these guys for one day down here at least. Uh, have a little bit of warmth, I guess. And then uh, yeah, I'll definitely be moving them outside tomorrow. Oh gosh. Get a little bit of more of the space off out there. Wow, with this bag we can still do a lot. Yeah, and well, you, I wanted to make sure you had a big enough bag in the yeah. store so you don't want to go dry on Hey, guess what? I got to go back to the store. Exactly. And you do want to do the potting soil, not the starting soil. Yeah. Because the seed starting soil is going to get dry out faster. Honestly, I don't think we've ever used seed starting. Seed starting. We've well, always used this. Well, we did it in the greenhouse, but... No, I don't it. even use the seed starting soil. The soil. We've never oh. used it. I've always used potting soil. Potting soil. I think it just does better. Yeah. But some others have different. They'll do different, but it's all depends. It's in, in your choice to do. So, yeah, These as we really wrap pretty. up, um, that's pretty much it. We got, oh boy, all sorts of stuff. We got all sorts of chunks going on here. I'll show you a little bit. Oops. You want to give me the water, please? Here. I almost, I almost planted with no water. Well, that would have been nice. Well, I wouldn't have made it too far. And guess what they are? Is it Johnny Jump? That's fine. I think it's a little water on here. Yeah. I kind of mentioned earlier it's a little nice for the mess here, but obviously, yeah, they're going to be draining up here, but that's okay. Tables. Table's been used. Got, Our basement isn't finished yet, so. Basement isn't finished. We got work coming in on Friday. So I've got all sorts of stuff, so we're not too worried about the water. It'll it'll definitely dry. Hopefully, yeah, we may, now thinking about it, even having these in, we may have to water them a little bit more before they go outside tomorrow because it may eat it up indoors here, which is fine. We'll water them a little bit more. What's nice about definitely for sure the top um, being open, so we'll water a little bit more outside. I'll bring them out there and then I'll water them. And I'll bring these up here so I can give you guys a little bit of uh, view of what we have going on here. And like I said, those the Michigan um, the Michigan ball flowers will be here till spring, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we do up. have some balls. I was thinking about maybe going to either Menards or Lowe's or something and seeing what kind of bulbs they have. Because so we do have a lot of space to work with. Yeah, we do up front. We have a pretty good amount of space to work with. Where's the tape at? 
tight. Tape it's just gonna be exciting. Ooh. All right, you guys a little bit of a preview. And I'll run through them a little bit, kind of show you a little bit of what we have. Oh, I brought this fork down here to poke and I'm going to poke with my hands <laughs> Sorry. Hey, true gardener's way. Yeah. I'm going to bring it a little bit. And I can run through them. I'll kind of show you guys a little bit of what we have. I'm going to do... Labels. But I did kind of... Ah, well, duh. I obviously, I guess I did show you in one of the videos, but that's okay. Let's roll through it and see what we have. Go. We did add a couple more stuff. things. Tape! It works. Okay, what I'm going to do is put purple glitter on all the... What? All the flowers. All flowers? So we can tell the flowers. Yeah. Tell the flowers well, you have flowers labeled on them. So I'm sure you can... I do. It's just extra. Decoration. Not decoration. Sure. It's not? just extra so I can keep more, know where to look to keep an eye on. Decoration. You're talking about getting annuals too. Trying this with annuals to see how it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of annuals and see how they work. If nothing else, I'll probably just go to the nursery, our local nursery, and go pick out annuals for my. Yeah, we'll probably yeah, we'll probably just get some of them if they don't work out. We'll get a couple of them. Pick out some of them at least for this year, and then hopefully maybe we can try to grow something next year with them. And okay. Try to save a little bit on that. We'll try to grow our own and see how they turn out to to be. We got quite a few going on here. Yeah, I definitely got a lot going out there for sure. See how they all roll. Now we still what? have, um, we're doing the watermelon, cantaloupe, and cucumbers yeah. direct. Yep. Yeah, we basically in the last video I was saying that they're going to be direct in the ground. We're not going to put them in here uh, just because we're worried that they may grow too a little too quick so we don't want to we'll go put them in the ground they're a little bit uh, less on the days so we'll try them out we really haven't had too horrible like I said but they are new uh, the cucumbers we haven't had bad luck at least with them but we'll see what happens flowers here uh, I didn't go to me So I'll take you through and let you see what exactly we have. So you know, all the flowers here and the seeds down inside there. Flowers. We got peppers. Got more flowers here. You can see all the different that we done. Hopefully they grow good. They should. It's praying. almost like it's mini. It's a mini greenhouse, pretty much. Yeah, for... that's, that's what they were saying. It's like a pretty much a mini greenhouse. It's got its own self-containment. Get the sun. Get the moisture. Get the water. Get the humidity. Hopefully, the lower temperatures. Hopefully, we'll see how they kind of pan out. One of the ideas why we wanted to go this way. Obviously, if it doesn't work out we too well, we we definitely got extra. No, we got extra seeds. We can try to put some of them in the ground, or we may go get some plants. But hopefully, that's what we're kind of praying on that they do work. Um, so we'll run through that, see how it works. Uh